these niggas be claiming they real. Most of these niggas are not. See, I'm from the land of the tree. Okay, Art of Sports here with Randy uh, Caballero. Um, just came back, man, after two years. How do you feel finally getting back in the ring? I felt really good. It felt really good letting all the emotions that I had bottled up for so many years. Hey, it was it was tough. You know, I had a bad 2015. But we're going to make sure we have a better 2006, and I promise that. Uh, you came in weighing at 124. Um, are you going to go do featherweight, junior featherweight? Where are you going to be at? No, we're going to we're going to stay at 122. You know, the fight was supposed to be at 122. Um, we we're going to fight for a title, a little small title. It didn't happen, so we said, hey, let's just go to 124 and just stay right there. No, you know, push myself at 122, make my body feel comfortable. And then um, yeah, it was my first fight jumping up to 122, but I felt good. I felt strong. I could have made 122 fine, and I'm excited. I'm excited because 122 is action-packed, very action-packed. Definitely. I was just going to say you got, uh, what, Lomachenko there. No, I'm sorry. You have uh, Guillermo Rigondeau, Quig, Frampton, all those guys. Uh, when can we see you in with some of those names? Uh, hopefully soon. That's what I want. You know, I lost a lot in, in 2015. I lost my title. I lost a lot, and you know what? I want to come back strong and, uh, and and become a world champion again. That's my dream. That's my that's what I'm shooting for. I made it happen at 118, and I'm gonna make it happen again at 122. The best pound for pound fighter in the world right now is uh, Roman Gonzalez. He nicked out a Wednesday just like yourself. Uh, how does that motivate you to to kind of keep moving forward, knowing that the best fighter in the world is you know from your from your home country, and you kind of have the opportunity you're on that stage? That's a big motivation for myself. You know what? I, I'm proud to have. The U.S., the United States, and as well as Nicaragua behind me, behind uh, Chocolatito. It, it's it's motivation for ourselves, and you know, for him to be pound for pound makes it a big, big accomplishment for not only himself but as a, us Nicaraguans. And that's that's my goal is to shoot for top pound for pound as well. You know, if he can make it happen, I, I'm gonna make it happen. <laughs> Uh, you were just commentating tonight for uh, Serie TV. Are, are you the best pound for pound commentator now? I was doing it for RingTV.com. Oh, Ring and sorry. you know what? It was it was a different experience, something I've always wanted to do, and, and it felt good. You know, I kept bugging them, telling me, "Hey, get me on, get me on." You know, and, and they finally got me on, and it was good to sit there the whole time and just commentate about the fights, and it felt good. You know what? I'm I'm gonna not rate myself as the top, but I'm I'm gonna get there. <laughs> well, definitely, uh, your fans can't wait to see you again, brother, and uh, just keep the good.